Hello everybody, my name is Connor and in this episode of Guild Wars 2, we're going to continue our personal story and try to figure out how to unfuse docks from a golem. Now I kind of ended the last episode on a bit of a cliffhanger, but because of the mission, I actually leveled up to a level 11 and I can finally talk about uh, traits and skills. Because for some reason you only unlock this at level 11. Mm. So, I can use all the hero points that I've gotten from just the hero points and even from leveling up to train them in all of these. Well, not all of them. Right now I can only work on getting new skills because I have a new one. I will unlock the ability to do this in 10 levels. So, oh boy, that'll be here. So, we have like four different branches of skills, each doing different things, and you can pretty much get them get an understanding just from the name. Then you have specializations. These kind of add traits, which... Well, they kind of specialize you into, like, three different things. And then you have elite specializations, which we won't be getting into until the expansions, because they change your entire play style. Oh, boy. That's gonna be fun. Uh, right now... Uh... Can I get... I'm gonna get a go up to a rifle turret, but I'm also going to. I'm gonna get this gadget to switch out that the AED and the rifle. We do have special. Uh, racial traits that I can use. I can apply confusion, I can apply an AoE that inflicts poison and weakness, and I can just daze by talking about techno babble. It's it's actually kind of funny. Each race has their own different racial skills and such, and they're not inherently good, but they are good in some parts. So now that I've changed my skills around, I do have different uh, these. So instead of applying an AoE to healing, I can now just stun an enemy, and I can just shoot a fucking bullet out of my belt. I don't know how, but apparently I can. I am ignoring you for a reason, good sir. Oh, that was a waypoint. I could have just went there. God damn it. Ah, there we go, not paying attention. Again. Alright, uh, now we gotta have gun turret. Gun turrets are helpful. Turrets are always helpful. God, really? No. Okay, dodge my way into the instance. Let's get inside. Zoja is waiting, and Doxa needs her help. Wasn't I here before? Wait, where the hell are we going? We're set to go. I've cleared the lab so we'll have the space and privacy we need, and also so no random observers get killed. I'd love to solve this problem for you. The MIG is so promising. Almost up to SNAF standards. Sorry. Back to business. Diagnostic examination. This lab is the perfect place to run a full battery of tests. There's good equipment here, and more importantly, it's not mine. So I won't care if it gets destroyed. I'm not entirely sure about this. Will the process hurt? Of course not. Golems don't feel... Well, they don't usually feel pain. This may be a special case, though. We'll just have to forge ahead. I suppose we could ask the inquest. They do fusions like this all the time, usually with people they don't like, which is a pretty long list. No thanks. 
we set out to find an alternative to the inquest method. We don't need more data on sacrificing sentient beings to improve Golem control. A wise decision. Now let's sort out this Doxa situation. Oh boy. Okay. Under consideration. Greetings, Lizards. My schedule is absolutely packed, or else I'd be there to murder you in person. Well, well, the walking joke is making jokes. Tell me, Taylor, how did you access these systems? We're the inquest. We can do anything we want to with no talent hikers like you. But I'm not virtually here to banter. Minions, bring the MIG back to the funhouse. And just to cement the fact that all your golems belong to us. Golems, initiate security override 27. Authorization code, Soja is a thing. Get her! Oh god. Oh no, they got Mr. Sparkles. I got a gun! I got multiple guns! Oh, I switched over to a rifle because I really want to use this again. I'm sorry, is that name Stabo? Where's Stabo? Oh, there he is! Can't tase him. Or tase him. Yeah, I would have to agree there. He does not like me. Okay, the AED is down a really good healing skill. Kill it! I'd like to lodge a formal complaint, Soldier. The examination prospectus you provided never mentioned explosions, fires, or hacked golems. Better get used to it. All that's just a prelude to what's in store if we keep crossing paths with the inquest. Which we will, because Teo clearly wants the MIG. And we want their know-how on fusing sentient souls to golems. Will that help? I mean, Doxa seems calm enough now, so she's adjusting to her new situation. Inquest machinery could just drive her mad again. That's a risk we have to take. If we don't separate her soon, she won't be Doxa anymore. We need to access the Inquest lab known as the Funhouse. The Inquest's data, combined with my expertise, gives us a chance. A statistically small chance. But that's better than what she has if we do nothing. All right then, let's head to the Funhouse. Though somehow I doubt it'll be much fun for anyone involved. Why even name it that? Okay, first things first, uh, switching it to the healing gun. Healing gun. What the hell even is this? It's gonna say. Uh, vest. Oh, all all of them are much better than what I have. I'm gonna get a vest with defense. Smoothly enough. I should probably also. Did I just get a better. No, thankfully. Not even, not even better at anything. I should probably get to a merchant before, before I continue with the story. <laughs> Although, speaking of story, uh, my the missions I'm going through might be a little bit different depending on if when, depending on your playthrough. That's because the personal story is definitely what it is, personal. It adheres to your choices. I mean, that's what personal means, really, but I didn't really show it, but at the, before, when you create a character, you... <clears throat> Let me get my bearings. When you create a character, you are also given a short uh, personality quiz, almost. Pretty much a trust, pretty much a question, like, hey, what college are you a part of? What was your first invention? 
Stuff like that. It's specific to what race you're playing. Excuse me, I do not want any part of this. Thank you. And these will actually change what happens in the first act of the personal story, really. So, because I am part of the College of How Dynamics, we're dealing with a story about golems and fusing stuff with, fusing a person with a golem. Uh, I should probably put what I can in my material pouch, which there's two. Tiny bag of script supplies. It's more, more materials. Cool. Oh, a bit of luck. Cool. Need that. Uh, shit. Put the stuff I need for the other... Okay. And we just delete everything we don't need. I don't really need it, I'm sorry. Uh, what I did get that I didn't equip are gathering tools. Gathering is not tied to a skill, really. It's more so tied to what kind of equipment you have on you. So mining picks and axes, and those are tied to your level. You can't get a higher level logging axe early on. It, it's it's a smart idea. Has gone wrong I, at the I, I don't care. I'm sorry. I have important stuff to do. Where even is this? Really far away. Okay. Just save some time, really. What does this have to do with monkeys? Is this the place? Lead the way. I just hope we find the device in time to save Doxa. I mean, is there a way through? No? Okay, then. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. been here. No, I haven't. Oh, there is a hero point in here. I don't think I can get that in the instance. Oh, uh, hello. So, a healing turret is pretty much what it does, it heals in an area. As long as you're in there, it's, it's gonna heal. It's kind of self-explanatory, really. I'm nigh invincible. That doesn't actually do damage. Cool. Guys need help. Vacate these premises. I mean, he said that to... Look at this place. Yeah. This is genius, unbound by morality. With a heaping helping of jerk. I'm nigh invincible. Do they... Do they not see us? I mean, I'm firing a gun. Hold on, that's a Norn on that table. Oh, that, you're sick. No, the it's just nothing we here. Need is behind that barrier. Smash those generators and bring it down. Oh, I wish I didn't pick up my goddamn 
No, I didn't. They actually took away my... You guys... You guys not gonna help? Careful. Those generators keep the holding cells. Stay ready for Oh, that's just not a Norn, that's a Risen. Oh, cool. Cool. Dragon minions. This is just what we need. They really want my rival to dead. There is no music going on. What the hell? Okay. We all good? And are the inquests behind the wall just not going to do anything? I mean, defensive protocols suspended. They're just okay. The barrier's down. Let's go. Invigorating. <laughs> that's that's gross. No, I want the turret. Out first. Bones are kind of dumb. That was kind of easy, all things considered. Wait, this won't work. You saw the lab full of failures in there. The inquest golems were out of control, dangerous, more golem than pilot. I think this recursive feedback device only fuses people to golems. I don't think it can extract a person from one. Can we repurpose it? Make it do what we want? If we do nothing, we could lose her entirely. We have to try. That may kill her anyway. There is another option. We use the inquest device to put me inside another golem. Then at least Doxa and I can be together. What? That's crazy. You could both die, or have your personalities totally subsumed. Then you just watch helplessly as your golem bodies go bonkers. It's worth it. For her. She's everything to me. Listen, I know I'm not thinking clearly here. You're our friend, our crewmate, and I trust you. I need your input. Should we try to extract Doxa and maybe kill her? Or fuse me with a golem and maybe kill us both? Another thing with the personal story. A couple of branching paths. Oh boy. Let's review our options. I mean, we got our point. Inquest isn't really good at stuff, so maybe we might as well just cut our losses and put you in a golem. Yeah, there's there's no way to All right. change it. We need to do this someplace less inhabited to avoid undue attention. There's a facility in Decider I at Tui that would work. It's where Doxa and I went on our first date. Oh, Doxa. And now you'll be reunited there as follows. Or die trying. Either way, it'll be over soon. Cool. So we have we got some things in that. Bag of loot. Hammer I can't use. Use the spear gun. I don't really have any conditions. Oh, and I just took away the heal the damn it. 
Well, one thing we did get was a crude salvage kit. These can actually salvage any weapons or armor. Not all of them. Mostly stuff you just get from drops and stuff, not really from, like, level ups. Well, not always, really. And they can be helpful if you want materials or stuff. They can drop, like, upgrade components and other stuff. And it's looking kind of terrible out there. Ugh, a lot of dark clouds. We're just back out here. Of course we are. Oh, we're gonna go back to... Mm. Okay, you know what? I will go this way. I'll get these two waypoints and I'll meet you guys at Desider Atrium. Okay. Okay, I got the waypoints, got a vista, and now I think it's the last part of the chapter one story. We're a long way from the city, Zoja. The inquest won't find us here. We're safe for the moment, but they'll find a way. Inquest always do. We better get a move on. There's lots to do, and it's only a matter of time before the inquest comes looking for us. Plus, the council is still stroppy about Dox's rampage, the Snaff Prize competition. We can't afford to cause any more destruction. I can disable the Peacemaker Golems so they'll leave us alone, but there are too many bystanders. We can't afford the complication of people getting hurt. Leave that to me. I'll tell a few tall tales and get every extraneous person out of harm's way quickly, with a minimum of fuss. Good. Kronk is waiting inside with another golem for Kaz. You do your thing, clear the area, and then we'll get started. You hear that, my little alloyed flower? Soon we shall be together again. Together. Forever. As long as you still love me, I can face anything. Do you still love me? Affirmative. Thank you, loved one, Kaz. Okay, hearing that in, like, the normal golem voice, I think that made the choice worth it. What is following me? Oh. That's just Doja. Oh dear. Uh. Yeah, dignity. Nobody told me about an evacuation order. Yeah, but when do they tell us anything? Come on, let's join the rest of the evacuees. Oh, my peacemaker order. You will submit to Gollum search and seizure. What? You look like one of the old March 7s. Command override 000. Run full diagnostic scan. Command accepted. Estimated time to completion, 23 days. Why does it take 23 days for that? That's a lot of diagnostics. Should I stay with Zosha? Uh, let's keep going. Wait. Oh, right. There's gotta take the steps. Time. Two, one, hour. What was the music for? Carnival. Balloons. I haven't seen those since. Never mind. Just go. We're skybound, people. Yeah. All right. I guess that's everything. Oh boy. You look like someone who's having second thoughts. It's not too late to turn back, you know. This will be incredibly dangerous. No. The closer we get, the more I realize how right this is. Doxa and I are meant to be together. 
And this way, we'll be together forever. Quit gold-bricking, you two. We're running the final diagnostics now. While we're waiting, we need a name for Kaz's new body. I've got that covered, sir. Since Doxa occupies the massively impressive Golem, or MIG, mine will be the other massively impressive Golem, or Omig. Really? Well, it's your body. At least your wordplay is consistent. Let's get this over with before I laugh myself into a humor-based apoplexy. I mean... Always no, be loyal to your crew. Fusion device. The machinery is warmed up and calibrated to the subjects ready and willing. All we need is your authorization. Let's get started. So that's going to be my new body, eh? Well, looking good, future me. Visual identification complete. Doxa, my dear, is that you? It's me, Kaz. Audio input acknowledged. Kaz, I am so glad to see you. I'd say that worked perfectly. Now to get you two, uh, lovebirds out of here. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the spoiler. New application. Oh. Installation complete. Installation complete. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go over here then. Oh dear. For peacemakers. Why is there one up there? So early. Cool, we've left the entire city defenseless. Great. What if her isn't come? Fucking inquest, I swear to God. Oh. All right, you mental midgets. We're here to take back what you stole from us. Oh, and snuff you out for taking it. Oh, is that why you've come? Because all we have for you here are contusions and lacerations. Affirmative. Mig and Omig are fully functional. Our Golemic love is stronger than the Inquest. We will now demonstrate by beating said Inquest into paste. Hear that, Teo? These Golems mean business, and so do we. Let's go, people! The only way to safety is over the Inquest's broken bodies! I do like the, the normal Golem voice. It is so much fun in its lack of, I guess, emotion. No way, because it's weird. What? It lacks emotion, yet it is both full of it. I I guess that makes sense. Why is my rifle all the way over there? Oh, that guy's invisible. Hey, Tay, I've got a gun for you. Oh, 
Wow, is Teo dead? Together again, loved one Kaz. But we've antagonized the inquest and the arcane council. Tell me, are we truly free? We are, my lumbering metal cherub. Ours will be a hard road, with many obstacles. But we will flatten them all with appropriate force. Thank you, former crewmates. We will never forget what you did for us, as I am now writing it to long-term memory, until we meet again. Not what I'd call a traditional romantic partnership, but I suppose it takes all kinds. In a way, I envy their happiness. Really? Nah, but I wish them the best all the same. <laughs> I like how you keep a cool head in the face of remarkable weirdness and still get results. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on you. I guess the only thing left to do is name the Snaff Prize Savant. Since it's down to just you and me, and I'm feeling magnanimous, congratulations! The title is yours! Keep up the good work, Savant, as the big metal lovers just said, until we meet again. Alright, I guess that was the end of chapter one. Goodbye, friends! That. Thank you. So, I got some new boots. Oh, we can actually apply stats to them. I don't know what's good, so I'm just gonna do that. A uh, box of lab equipment, and it's, it's shit. Got some luck, and a key. We got a key. This is a black line chest. Technically, a loot box. Most importantly, unnecessary. You do get a free key every time you finish the level 10 story. So, I, I guess it's a good- Bye, Zoja! Okay, wow. So I guess that's technically a way of key farming. You can buy them, but really, who wants to? And with that, I think we're done. Ugh, wow. Okay. Ugh. I mean, that was a good... Yep. We're done. And now I gotta go up to... Level 20 to continue. Or level 10. Oh boy. So, my name's been Connor. We've been playing Guild Wars 2. And I'll see you all in the next episode.